Let's start with Ben Roethlisberger and the Steelers in a three-by-one set. Here, Pittsburgh is running split flow inside zone with running back James Conner and adding misdirection with wide receiver Chase Claypool on the jet sweep action. Look at how the pre-snap movement influences the defense. Here, the Eagles spin the secondary to account for Claypool and coverage, which removes the defender, enlightens the box, and an explosive play run for Connor. Now let's show you how the Steelers created that running lane. Remember, the Steelers are running split flow backfield action. So let's start to the front side, where the Steelers will step and climb in the zone blocking scheme. Let's roll it here. Sal, see how the Steelers wall off that front side? That gives them three for three at the point of attack. Now let's go backside. With the left guard and left tackle account for the defensive tackle and the stacked linebacker. Here the Steelers wash down the defensive tackle with the left tackle climbing to fit up on the linebacker. And there's that daylight starting to open up for Connor. Now let's look at how the split flow action with tight end Vance McDonald influences the box safety. With the Eagles playing man coverage here, that safety has to, has to get going, Sal. Watch as the safety tracks its coverage, which pulls him past the running lane, with McDonald digging out the backside edge defender. And that creates yet another blocking angle for Pittsburgh, with the wide receiver now in a position to keep that running lane clean for Connor. And Sal, with motion and misdirection, the Steelers are creating run game production of their base schemes for Connor to get north and south in a volume roll. I'll tell you right now, you look at the Dallas defense cell, the last two games, <laughs> tapes against Washington and Philly, they struggle to fit up zone runs, and the misdirection is really influencing those second-level linebackers.